know about anyone else, but that's entertaining watching her chase the court. <laughs> We were got it, everyone. Everyone. Okay. Hold on one second, sir. Tell me when. We're gonna scoot in. All right. Go ahead. Okay. Just for the record, say spell your name and give your title, please. Eric Johnson, E R I C J O H N S O N, President and Director of Airports for the Metropolitan Topeka Airport Authority. Uh, I don't have much to update you with. I can confirm that. It was two fatalities aboard a, a twin-engine aircraft. Uh, I don't need, have a, a direction of travel. I don't have a, a landing runway. Um, we do have coroner on site, and the coroner is uh, taking responsibility for the um, two victims. And we will have uh, federal authorities on, on scene tomorrow morning to uh, uh, make further identification and investigation. What can you so, tell us about where the plane landed? Because we know that there's the runway that points to the north west then there's a taxiway but and then there's a cornfield somewhere in there right and and that's what i mean by i don't ha even have a or can't confirm what runway um it doesn't appear that it was on the runway so i i can't even confirm where they were attempting to land at this time but where did they come to rest they, they were in that grass uh field between the taxiway and the runway oh was there any communication between the plane and the tower before the tower was passed? closed oh. at the time so Tower closed at 7 p.m. Okay. Were the victims male? The victims I, I'm not at liberty to say right now. As soon as we're able to um, confirm that uh, Mexican is notified, then uh, they'll be able to release that, and we're waiting for federal authorities tomorrow. The federal authorities being the FAA or the NTSB? Uh, you'll probably see both on scene. Okay. And then the KHP kind of in charge of the investigation at this very moment? KHP, I, I, it's a... Uh, Obviously, it's a, an MTA airport within city, city jurisdiction. KHB has investigative uh, responsibilities, and I do know that uh, the MTA uh, police fire chief, J.T. O'Grady, uh, called for KHB to assist with uh, the diagram in the accident. We, this, we obviously had a incident maybe a couple of months ago where a plane was unsure about if they could land because of their gear. But when you hear about a crash like this as the president and CEO, what's some of the things that go through your mind as what you have to do to get ready for something like this? Uh, this is something that we do on a routine basis. It's something that we train for um, and hope we don't use. Uh, so there's there's a constant training evolution that takes place, um, whether it's a, a, a full-scale exercise that took place just this past week or so, uh, or it's daily training. So this is something that is not the training, I mean, is not something that's new to the, the people that are responding. Uh, I, I served for 17 years as an aircraft uh, rescue firefighter. Um, this is a different phase of my career, but it's the, it's the idea of training for an event like this. Anything else, guys? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Hope you don't put that bug on.